Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame and tonight host of the 2023 USFL Championship game. The Pittsburgh Ballers, they won the North Division and now they aim to pull off a worst to first fairy tale, but they will have to unseat the defending champion Birmingham Stallions to do so. We have rings on the line. The USFL Championship between the Birmingham Stallions and the Pittsburgh Maulers. This countdown to kickoff is presented by Uber One. At the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, time to crown a champion. It's a high kick that settles right there at the 20. Hops to Josh Simmons, the fastest player on the Pittsburgh Maulers, and he has spun down to Troy Williams, not the day one starter, but won the job, won the locker room early on in the year. He brought energy, brought stability to an offense that needed both desperately. Williams with a blitz coming out of the secondary. He's going to take off and run. He has a blocker there in London, and then he slides down, takes a hit anyway. Now the penalty marker will fly. JoJo Tillery. Late hit, number 27 on the sliding quarterback. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. You know, Jack, a lot to unpack. Goal. 12th play of this drive. Outside to Isaiah Henney. He is a hard man to tackle. Gains that edge before Lorenzo Burns shoved him out of bounds. All of a sudden, we could score outside the red zone. See if Blewett can keep it going from 37 yards away. And Blewett is straight through it. <laughs> so Alex Magoo, he left no debate to the USFL MVP discussion he put on a teach tape clinic in that South Division championship game on the season. 20 touchdowns, only five interceptions a sin as well. Empty set. Magoo fires complete. That is his tight end, a Jay Sternberger, and he will pick up that first down. It's fourth and one. It's a long one. Here's Magoo. Keeping himself, and this time he is stonewalled, but he keeps fighting forward, and he's stopped again. Look at this Pittsburgh defense. Williams firing outside. Isaiah Henney taking his time. Isaiah Henney with a beautiful move. He crosses midfield. There's Williams. Plenty of time. Now he's going to scramble around. Lost the football. Ball is out. Ball is loose. And it looks like Pittsburgh is going to dive on top of this with their offensive line. Ready. The Stallions. Magoo play action. Magoo looking deep. Now he's scrambling around. Penalty marker flies. He goes vertical. And he is going to pick up that first down. First and ten. Magoo low snap. Now Magoo looking deep down the field. Has a man. And that is caught for the touchdown. Davion Davis. <laughs> the snap's not real clean. Magoo gets his eyes down. Does first things first. Keeps his poise, loves his matchup inside. He's got Davion Davis, his best receiver. We're going against Kiaba Tizino, a linebacker. Play. Bring Henny into the backfield, give him the football. You like this play as he gains that edge. And then a big hit put on right there on the sideline. That's Tyree Robinson. Williams. Quick throw. Hyman, first down. So you're going to get your opportunity to score a touchdown as this game goes on. It's Chris Blue, who has a massive leg, 36 is easy. Attention for a first and 10. Magoo, pressure. Magoo goes down. He is dropped by Will Miles. Magoo, quick throw complete. This is Sternberger, who still has space. Now he's going to throw a stiff arm out there and go inside the 30 for a big play. Magoo quickly to the line. Another quick throw outside. This is caught inside the 20. Goes to Michael Petway. Another great drive here to end the half. Magoo towards the end zone, and this pass is reeled in for a touchdown. What a play it was. Right there on the back line by Dion Kane. Right there, they make a lot of little plays, then they make big plays. Four guys out to the front side, and they take Kane, the outside receiver, and they run him on an in cut. Tizino, the inside linebacker, has to get there. And 
Chris blew it. It's a long line drive kick. This guy better have his phone on him. He has been sensational. Out division championship just a week ago. Give it back to him. Why not? Here goes Person again, straight back into the secondary and out near midfield. So CJ Marable checks back in. Now Marable with a great cut. Makes the first man miss. Marable into the secondary. Look at this running. It's been, well, he has been saying that for the last few weeks. As it is Zora, this is Magoo towards the end zone. And this is brought in for the touchdown. Deion Kane, he has been amazing lately. 20 and three in the USFL. And he has done it with balance just like this. Did he get both the inbounds? It appears he, absolutely he did. did. <laughs> From the 48, Williams to Groshek. Just as you said, stick with that ground game. Here goes Groshek knocking a couple stallions on their backside as he goes inside the 40. Nice. 37, 36, and 55. This time from 51. And Chris Blewett is right on the money. Brace that and who he is as a personality and that's allowed him to play his best football. Magoo, Davion Davis, and Davis jumps for no apparent reason out of bounds. Ready, check. Here's Magoo. And that is complete. It's Sternberger, his tight end, and has been his favorite target. From the pistol, Marable. Look at the space for Marable. Now he goes inside the 10, and he is spun down at the 9 by Trey Tarpley. Alex Magoo, pressure. pressure. Now Magoo able to escape. Now he's trying to buy more time. He's got a great athlete on that football. And then have the wherewithal and the awareness to hand it to Walker, the faster runner for the score. What a play. Does he, does he hand this thing forward? Look at Olive running out of gas. You got to go behind you, big fella. I think go Mike Ferrer is going to pull this one back on us. I say That's give it to him. 33. <laughs> There's an illegal forward handy by the defense. That penalty is five yards from the spot of the foul. First down, Pittsburgh. Instead, an opportunity that is huge here for Pittsburgh. Trying to make the most of it. It's Groshek straight up the middle. It Williams. Pressure. Trying to get away from it, and there is nowhere for him to escape to. Chance for his fifth field goal. They've leaned on him. Back to Blue, and this time, no. You see Ruben Foss on the left-hand side of this defense. Is Pressure he coming. He is in comes. the face of Magoo, able to escape it, and now he's just going to fire off his back foot, and that is broken up down the field. Right. But that's not a reviewable play. Thank you very much, Mike. And this is complete once again. It's Trey Walker. Pressure look again. Williams delivers, and Bailey Gaither just never saw it. He never looked back towards Williams, and Williams delivered it to him in the post. Ready, set. Magoo. Scrambling around. Keeping his eyes downfield. Launching this ball towards the end zone, and that football is caught for the touchdown. There's three defenders there. It's Magoo, new Birmingham Stallions, him getting out of the pocket. He does it one more time. They're trying to have level rushes. He's just too good an athlete. You see Ruben Foster trying to track him down. But he throws the ball down the field. He throws it up to his big guy. Deion Kane, this is his third touchdown reception. Every one of them a contested throw. He's got guys draped all over him. What a throw. An even better catch. Williams blitzes on. Now he steps up. He's just going to run. It's a great play by Troy Williams. And he is still running as he goes inside the 40. Matters the situation here. Got two downs to make 15. 
Williams looking for his favorite target, and this is reeled in by Isaiah Henney. Third and 19 up first. Williams pressured, hit, lost the football, balls out, Birmingham's all over it. It appears Yarbury is going to come away with it. Joe Joe Tillery shot into the backfield. Looks like there's heat one more time. Here's Tillery coming off the offensive right. And he just beats the tackle and stays with it. Troy got a little greedy, had some receivers open in front of him, was wanting something bigger. Tillery made him pay for it. Knocks the ball out. This defensive line of Birmingham has been around him. Ready, set! Don't try and dumb Number ass. two, Magoo throws, and that is caught. First down, LaMichael Petway. He's got it all. He's been the leader of this team from week one. He's going to be the MVP of this ball game. And the Stallions are going to be champions one more time. The Birmingham Stallions, back-to-back -back champions of the USFL. For Jason Garrett, Shore Stevenson, our entire crew, I'm Jack Collins. We're saying so long from Canton, and thanks for watching the USFL on NBC. What a great season it was. The Birmingham Stallions, congratulations, back-to-back.